All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, Tata Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. This is your brother Shamar coming back with another lesson. And I wanted to speak on, um, you know, in this lesson, speak on this article dealing with the monkeypox and all. And um, pretty much, you, as brother's been speaking on, you know, this thing may be something that they use as a another excuse to further uh, have another pandemic, so to speak, situation where they may close things down possibly or just force another medical procedure that people have to take. Because as you can see, you know, um, they're already having the juice ready for it, you know, for this new situation that started they already having those prepared to roll out and they're making it seem like um they don't have enough of it so to speak so people are already scared and want to take it but then you have to wait because it's on back order so to speak because they have to order a lot more of it to have to give out so you're playing on the whole shortage and supply and demand thing with it as well but as you've been seeing if you've been watching the news and keeping up this is something that they're not letting up on. It's been escalating since, you know, you've been seeing it mentioned here and there. Now it's being, um, you know, pushed on the forefront, so to speak. Like they have articles, um, not articles, but news clips, you know, speaking on it out here in the Bay Area as well. Like videos of people that actually got it. And then um, they already given out the medical procedure in certain locations. It's, so you, as you can see, man, things are only going to continue to keep happening, man. All right, Esau ain't letting up. Ever since that first situation that happened with the uh, pandemic, all right, that whole uh, illness, all right, there it's still around and it's still relevant, yet now you have something else on top of that one going on. So it's going to be, you know, a double pandemic, so to speak, situation. Hey, nonetheless, Esau, like I said, he ain't letting up, man. All right. But this, um, the first scripture I wanted to get is in As a matter of fact, I'll just start with this one. It's already here. So rock 12 and 10, it says, never trust thine enemy for like his iron rusteth, so of his wick, so is his wickedness. And this is why you never supposed to trust Esau, man. All right. Like the article that I'm about to read, it goes into the fact of these um, new medical procedures they're releasing to the public hasn't even been tested on people. So the people who are taking it are going to be the ones who are automatically enrolled in these trials because you are the people who are being tested on, you know, and then they will figure out later down the line what it does to you, which we all know that it's just going to ca cause more of more of it to spread pretty much and grow but get worse all right but like i said never trust thine enemy all right and he's only lied to you you know everybody who went and took the other medical procedure they literally caught nothing but hell from taking it and then you people are so dumb you're gonna go and take this one on top of the other one you already took all right now the people i'm speaking to mainly is you negroes latinos and native americans all right <clears throat> because it's not this word first and foremost isn't for these other nations all right so you got our people that are still going to continue to trust in everything that esau say after seeing what the first medical procedure has done to people you're still going to go take this one all because who says so the so-called white man all right just because he gave the okay on it you believe that it's safe to do all right that's how stupid our people are man don't even know that you got the enemy lying to you right in your face. Continuing on, it says, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Yeah, you got to take heed, man. Listen. All right. Because he's coming humble now saying that oh, it's, it's getting out of hand. He's, he's making it seem like he's um, looking out for you, for your well-being and stuff. The whole time, he this devil is the one causing it to spread, you know. And if anything happens after y'all start taking this one, he already knew that would be a possible side effect. And anything and any other adverse reactions that come out of it, 
He's just going to jot it down in his notes because you're the experiment, you know? That's why you're supposed to be aware of him, man. If you were paying attention and smart enough to have some type of sense, you would see that the people who took the first one, the other medical procedure, they're all done. They literally going to have symptoms for the rest of their life, if not already died from it, you know? As well as kept on getting it, you know, getting back ill from that same illness, all right? We continue on, it says, And thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that he, his rust have not been altogether wiped away. And that's right, his wickedness ain't went away, man. You forget that this is that same devil that experimented on our people, all right? The Tuskegee experiment that gave our people the um, the chicken pox, you know, all type of other diseases and things he gave to our people throughout the time of history, all right? And it's, and the things that he's done to our people, you think that he's going to be your friend now? He cares about your well-being now? The same person who, the same country that has uh, the highest percentage of obese people in the population that feeds you things that destroys you, that literally poisons you day in and day out. You think this same guy is going to care about you all of a sudden now? Hey, but that's how simple and sottish our people are, man. All right. That they don't even consider these things, man. But I'm going to read a little bit of this article or majority of it, really, because it has a lot of uh, good points. But uh, back to this, as you can see, the heading, I don't want to read too much of it because I don't want the video to possibly be striked, which it may be striked anyway. But it is what it is. So it says um, human lab rats getting the medical procedure for monkeypox automatically enrolls you in WHO data collection clinical trial. It says every person who takes the medical procedure for um, monkeypox is being automatically enrolled in a clinical trial to gauge its effectiveness according to the um, World Health Organization. T Tim Guyen, who's chief of infectious hazards preparedness agency says nobody really knows what the monkeypox medical procedure would do to people, meaning it is all just another big experiment similar to Wuhan, similar to the other medical procedure and Operation Warp Speed. <clears throat> monkeypox injections, just like the, the other medical procedure, are new to the scene and have never been before have never before been used on a large scale, thus it is unknown how people with the disease will react post-medical procedure. I would like to underline one thing that is very important to who we do have uncertainty around the effectiveness of these medical procedures because they have been used in this, in this context and in this scale, because they haven't been used in this context and in this scale before. Guy, um, Guyan is quoted as saying, when these medical procedures are being delivered, they are delivered in the context of clinical trial studies and pers prospectively collecting this data to increase our understanding of the effectiveness of these medical procedures. <clears throat> in other words, humans are once again being used as guinea pigs for big pharma to gauge the safety and effectiveness of experimental Procedures that otherwise never would have been allowed for public release apart from a global health emergency. And they just switched this to being a global health emergency as of this past Saturday, I believe. Continuing on, it says, is monkeypox an adverse effect of the other uh, procedure that other people took? Right now, there are two procedures for the monkeypox licensed by the Food and Drug Administration. I, I ain't gonna really try to read those because like I said, I ain't trying to get it flagged and all that, but you see the name of them right there, what they call them or what they known as. It says New York City just purchased several thousand doses more of the other one 
the, the other procedures to hand out to his residents, approximately 26,000 additional doses were delivered to New York City as part of, of a phase B plan from the federal, federal government and state and will be distributed. Mass procedure sites and community-based referrals. Individuals will be able to book appointments, basically coming up soon. The order comes on the heels of an announcement by WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom, can't pronounce the last name too good, uh, who overruled the organization's advisory committee recommendation that monkeypox basically be ignored. Instead, he decided to declare it a public health emergency of international concern. Since the globalists face no consequence for foisting experimental procedures on the entire world for the other pandemic, they are now doing it against doing it against again with monkeypox. <clears throat> and then this is a quote from somebody that basically saying that the monkeypox is a side effect from uh, the first medical procedure that was given from the other pandemic. And it's a quote from Infowars. Somebody wrote, it says, sure, go ahead and get the new procedure. It's the same soft kill that they already started with the other medical procedure. Maybe they're hoping that, hoping the procedures for monkeypox will create more virulent strains since it's the vaccine since it's the procedure that generally caused the mutations and diseases or that or at least they did with the pandemic um, procedure. Someone else wrote that all sorts of diseases stem from childhood procedures, including SIDS, muscular dystrophy and more. All of these symptoms only started appearing in large numbers after the introduction of new childhood procedures this person added. And that's, that's you know, actually true. And if you watch that, that um, if you ever seen it, it's a show on Amazon. I believe it's called Utopia, if I'm not mistaken. But if, when you look it up, it's either Utopia. I think it's Utopia, I believe. It came out in 2021 or so, 2020. And it shows you in that show like the dude literally says it word for word that basically with that uh, quote right there said everything from childhood, um, you know, syndromes all come from these newly created procedures that Esau always mandates for these children to go to schools and for children to have in general, you know, because like it says, it wasn't nothing wrong with kids until they really started pushing all that shit on the kids. And then it started becoming a new norm to have these different kids being born supposedly with these problems or having these problems, you know, as they get older and develop. As well as like you can see now, for example, what's going on with people that took the pandemic procedure and they having symptoms or syndromes that are becoming the new norm. You know, now it's normal for you to get um short breath real quick or you know all these different side effects basically it's a new norm <clears throat> it is a proverbs 14 and 15 it says the simple believe of every word but the pruning man look of well to his going, and that's exactly what you have. These people are sheep, you know. The masses of the people in America, they're simple. They listen to whatever they're told. They do whatever they're told. All right, just like you have that movie Idiocracy. Nobody is questioning anything the government told them to do or whatever uh, medical procedures they had to go follow. They just was rolling with it, just like you got now, man. People are so docile and, stu- and you know, stupid. They don't even question anything anymore. If anything, the only people they have every last question or rebuttal to ha- um to speak against are people who have something to say about what the um you know these things pretty much. 
if you speak against the, what the so-called white men say, then everybody comes against you like you're the person that has the false information or that you're leading people astray. Hey, but it goes back to what I was reading in Sirach 12 and 10. Never trust your enemy, man. Because this is the, lie, the guy that's lying, literally lying in your face, man. All right? He's telling you nothing but straight up lies. And the whole time, he's he's plotting your destruction. All of a sudden, these things... All of a sudden, these things are um, an issue or a problem that's just randomly popping up. All right? This Psalms 55 and 21, it says, The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war was in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. And that's how he comes to you all the time with those smooth words. And you people eat it up every single time because you're stupid, man. All right? You don't... We're living in a day and age where we have the most access ever to information at the palm of your hands. But what do you have? The stupidest people ever, you know, compared to back in the times where you had to go to a library and actually put in work like our apostles. And they'd be speaking on how they had to actually back in that, you know, back in the day, you couldn't just search on the Internet for everything. You had to go to a library, read in the books, actually do a lot more work to access information now you literally can access all type of information at your fingertips but you have our people being the dumbest they ever been in history the complete opposite of what you was expected to be having access to all this knowledge you have people more dumb than ever you know but they believe every last word that the devil is saying that the enemy is saying he has those smooth words for you and he knows you're going to believe it because he's, like the scriptures say, there's nothing new under the sun. He's done time in and time again the same shit, you know. He literally just did it to you when the pandemic just started. Now he's running it right back. Yeah, you got people that got, you know, that got it, whatever the hell it is. You know, if it's real or not, who knows? Or if it was something he released, who knows? Nonetheless... He's pu he's pushing his agenda forward and he's going to use this to cause other mischief, man. This is Micah 2 and 1. It says, Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. And this is exactly what they're doing, man. Like I said, the first pandemic shows you that they literally shut everything down Says you couldn't do nothing if you didn't take that procedure. And then they, they tricked all you people into taking it, opened everything back up, messed up the economy. They told you that another uh, pandemic was coming, but they never mentioned what it would be. Now, this could be that possible uh, pandemic that they were talking about because they never gave you a name they just said some it was coming down the pipeline and you need they need to have to get ready be ready for it you know how do they know that it was coming you know it ain't just a coincidence man yet you people are so stupid you don't even consider that all right and you're going to turn right back around and go and take that job all right take that procedure from esau and get fucked up even more and this is all of their agenda, man, because they're on the same accord and on the same page. This is a, another international global emergency. So it's not just in one country, not on one side of the world. This is something happening everywhere, and they're implementing the same things as far as the procedures in every, you know, country, wherever it, every country, wherever the hell it may be spread it at, at this point. But this is a plan that they devised, man. This isn't no coincidence, all right? You're dealing with the devil, man. Like it says, his words were smoother than oil, but war was in his heart. So he always has those smooth words for you, all right? This is why you're not supposed to trust your enemy. You pay attention to him. What he, Literally look at what just happened. Now he's running it back. Literally not. This is how careless Esau is and how proud really he is to run, run it right back again. Spread another... Uh, 
uh, you know, whatever the hell this is again, a situation like what just happened when the pandemic started. But you people are so simple, you're going to believe it and eat it up every time, man. That's why ultimately this place got to just be destroyed at this point. All right. But Esau is going to get who he going to get as far as tricking the people because our people are stupid and simple, man. The simple believe every word like I just brought out. All right, so if you want to sit here and trust the enemy and take his his potions and concoctions he's whipping up for you, whatever happens to you after that, man, it's rightfully so because you did it to yourself for believing in the devil, man, and not learning your lesson not to take it after what, seeing what just happened, man, with how the whole, whole other situation played out. And they're literally telling you this stuff in your face like the uh, article I was reading, man. The dude said that you're going to be registered under the... Let me see. Where is it at? Well, what's that in there? You're going to automatically enroll you in the data collection trial, clinical trial, man. So people are taking this, obviously, this is an experiment on you, and you don't even realize it. But that's how, just showing you the state of America, the state of the people, all right, how how low and how destroyed the people are to believe and fall for something back to back again, man. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to see how it play out at this point. This is the new thing that Esau rolling with, though. And you people who are already getting in line to take it, you know. Like, it's a scarcity right now for it because he doesn't have as many of them to roll out like he did with the other procedure. But you people are already getting in line. You got people in the article, I mean, news clip I seen the dude mentioning how people fly into different states just go take it. Hey, so we're going to see how this one turn out. As of right now, this is a new thing that's going to be, you know, spreading right now. You people or whoever take it, hey, Whatever judgment befalls you, man, hey, that's that's on you, you know, not learning your lesson. Hey, so with that, you know, I'm going to wrap up and give all praises again to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakaq Wadash, double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom, I'll tell the Akim out there preaching his word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.